I made a fly cutter here um, out of an old saw blade. This is a dado blade. This isn't the same one, it's a different style, but still, um, it's carbide toothed, just like this one. Basically, it's mounted on this piece of stock that fits up into a collet. It spins around uh, with its one tooth, and you can take cuts off the surface of a material. I'll take out the tool and show you how it works. So here's the shank. Um, it's a three quarter inch shank that goes into a three quarter inch collet and it's screwed in here. Uh, you can adjust it and you were out to about that long if you're doing a big piece. But if it's on the shortest setting, then you can spin it the fastest and then feed the fastest too. I think that there's a little bit, a section on the bottom of the tool that's rubbing up against my part, so it's not giving a real clean finish. So I'm gonna try to grind a little bit off there and hopefully it'll expose the cutting edge more. So after I ground the relief on there, you can see there's a big difference in the surface finishes. If I come back across, here's the surface finish after grinding the relief and here's before. You can see something was dragging across there and the surface is all ripply. This one's small. So I'm just gonna take another cut off of here. Uh, 20 thousandths, we tested is about the maximum thickness we can cut. And I'll take the cut and show you the finish. This finish is a whole lot better than the finish we had in the beginning before I added the relief on the tool. So I'd say for a homemade tool, a fly cutter like this, I think it does a nice job. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.